The first metaphor for a pointer is a pirate ship sinking treasure. So here we have a pirate ship. Now, in order to have a proper pointer, we have to have a port of call, just like a pirate would have a have to place where they need to start. If they're going to go seek treasure, they have to have a place where they're going to take it back. So ampersand int pointer was our point of call. That's the address of the register containing the information. So then we have a treasure island, which is our destination. And the pirate ship itself uses navigation to get to that treasure island. The end pointer indicates where the island is. So you can think of the actual pointer itself as the map. And then when we get to the actual island, we have the buried treasure. In order to have that buried treasure, we dereference the pointer. In this case, star in pointer gives us the information and in the code, it was the number five. The second metaphor is the hungry pup fesser. So here we have Aaron and Aaron is very fixated on this piece of cheese. And it turns out that a dog looking at a piece of cheese that she wants to eat is similar to a pointer, even though that Aaron is an Irish setter. So what do we mean here? Well, Aaron is looking at the hand. So what we need to bear in mind is that the address of Aaron is where she is sitting. She's a good dog. She's sitting, very well behaved, waiting for her treat. But the information is in her head. She is looking at the location of the hand. The location where she is looking to, that's the information in her brain, and that's also the information inside the register that we're using for the pointer. And when we dereference it, that is the actual cheese. That is the information at the memory address that we are pointing to.